Although the remains of ancient cities permeated the urban landscape for centuries and created what we call urban palimpsests, meaning the layered history that the urban form encapsulates, it is as late as the second half of the 20th century that there was a conscious attempt to analyze ancient urban form and relate it to contemporary urban developments. In the 1960s and 1970s, a series of 12 meetings called the Delos Symposia attempted to revitalize urban planning approaches through the study of ancient cities and revival of their urban planning principles. The Delos Symposia took place between 1963 and 1975 and were organized by Konstantinos Doxiadis, a Greek architect and planner with active research interests on ancient Greek cities and urban planning projects in the Middle East. The symposia brought together architects, planners, historians, economists, sociologists, geographers and philosophers to exchange new ideas about urban crises around the world. The Delos Symposia had been conceived as a continuation of the fourth international conference of modern architecture, the so-called SIAM, in 1933. The fourth SIAM conference was the first organized discussion of the modern movement about the city and urban planning, the results of which were codified by Le Corbusier, the famous architect of the modern movement, in his historic Athens Charter. Whereas the fourth SIAM conference focused on the modern city, however, the Delos Symposia placed the relationship of the ancient with the present city at the center of the discussion. This relationship was further underlined by the selection of the site where the final discussion of the meetings took place, the island of Delos, that is the archaeological site of Delos, a UNESCO World Heritage site since 1990. Delos is an island in the center of the Cyclades and was home to the sanctuary of Apollo since the 7th century BCE. The island became an important commercial port in the 2nd and 1st centuries BC, a trading point during Rome's conquest of the Greek East. During this period, Delos underwent a rapid urban development. The small settlement that clustered around the area of the Sanctuary of Apollo expanded significantly and new neighborhoods were created clustering around the island's natural harbors in order to accommodate the growing emporium of the port city. The island is deserted and only guards and archaeologists live there today, as well as in the 60s and 70s, when the symposia took place. The choice of a rapidly urbanized ancient port city that is abandoned today as the site of these meetings appealed to the participants because the deserted island of Delos offered what was then perceived as a necessary distance from the problems of the modern city. Indeed, the participants walked among these ruins like New Dillians in search of new concepts and approaches for the design of the city of the present. Let us remember here that in the 1960s and 1970s, the failure of modernism to address the pressure of urbanization after the Second World War by applying the simplistic pre-war ideas of urban design was greatly felt. The Delos Symposia wanted to address this issue by returning to the cities of the past, attempting to understand and revitalize their urban design principles. How did they want to revitalize the urban design principles of the past? The ancient city presented an exemplary paradigm for the relationship of human scale and city scale. For example, the city of Delos with its proportionate to human scale neighborhoods, which may be compared with contemporary villages of the Mediterranean, such as the Hora of Mykonos today. This exemplary relationship was studied by Doxiadis and his team in a research project on ancient Greek cities, which produced 24 studies of ancient cities with the purpose of creating a dataset of ancient Greek urban designs. The ancient Greek cities were thus intended to be employed as prototypes in new urban planning projects with a view to revitalize the proportionate to human scale design of the ancient city. The office of Doxiadis, Doxiadis Associates, had applied this idea of proportionate to human scale urban design in their plan for the new capital of Pakistan, Islamabad, in 1960. The plan of Islamabad presents a kind of collage of urban grids and infrastructures in which ideal scale to humans urban clusters, modeled after small scale ancient settlements, were surrounded by highways. 
Although the traces of the ancient city were omnipresent in the urban fabric of early modern cities, it is only in the second half of the 20th century that their urban design principles preoccupied architects and urban planners. The Delos Symposia was such an effort coordinated by architect and planner Konstantinos Oxiadis. In these discussions, ancient Greek cities were perceived as presenting an ideal to human scale urban design prototype. Such ideas were employed in designing new cities, such as the new capital of Pakistan, Islamabad, whose design presents the attempt to combine the human scale of a Greek village with the infrastructure of the modern city.